My name is Daniel, and I'm a long, long way from home. My God brought me and my people away from our families, away from the land that he promised us, and into being captured by a nation and a king we fear. We are scared, we are lost, and we don't know what he's doing, but this is where we are today, and this is how we got here. 400 years ago, God made a promise to our king, faithful David, that from his descendants, God would bring a great nation, that from David, there would come a ruler who would save us from condemnation and bring us into God's haven. But David never saw this day. And in his old age, handed the crown down to his son, Solomon. Now, Solomon was a wise king who chased after God for many years. He built God a temple with his blood, sweat, and tears. But then with his dear wife, a Canaanite, they chose to make the kingdom of God's people worship other gods instead of Yahweh, which made him rife because it was him who gave them life. So God's kingdom of Israel was split into a pair, and both halves were in disrepair. For 400 years, kings were killing one after the other. No one trusted their brother, no truths to uncover. And after 40 kings, only a few were found to be faithful to the father. So God sent people called prophets to speak on his behalf before the people went too far. But king after king led God's people astray. So the north kingdom was burnt to char, and we were headed the same way. In the south, the prophets before me tried to warn them, turn back. But instead, the kings of Judah chose instead to pack the temple built for the one true God to dwell with statues and idols of false gods. So our kingdom fell. God became angry. Why are you doing this to me? Filling my house with false gods, even when I tried to make you see through the words of the prophets that I sent to bring you back, but you never did. You continue to sin. So now I'm sending Babylon on the attack. The kingdom of Babylon most powerful nation on earth. Do you hear them coming? They're building a wall all around the city. We've run out of food, but they have no pity. Pain in our stomachs, our throats, and our chest. Our king Zedekiah, he runs, they arrest. They're dragging our king to their king of Babylon. His children are dragged after him from Jerusalem. They lay them before him, he's forced to endure. As the heads of his sons tumble down to the floor, I watch as the people of Judah are slain while some of our best are taken. Our strongest and smartest are led by the sword to bow to the king of Babylon, so I look up to God. Are you there? You are. You've never left, even though we've gone so far. Why am I alive? Why am I still here? What is your plan? I'm still so full of fear. This is your punishment for what we've done. But what of your people? What of your name? What of the good king that you promised to us? Every king has failed, and I'm just a prophet, and this is my story. My name is Daniel, and I'm a long, long way from home.